Welcome to Navy Paints. In this video, I'll be putting on some posters to really spruce up my Necromunda terrain. With that, let's crack in. First thing to do was find the posters. So I just went online, typed in Necromunda posters, and brought up a bunch of stuff. I just selected a couple I like and printed those off on my lemon of a printer. Applying the posters, all you do is cut them out with a hobby knife or I've just used scissors here. With the poster cut out, now I just dunk it into some 50-50 PVA glue and water. With that soaked, I just place it into position on the piece of terrain. To get the poster to conform around the shape of the terrain, I just use my finger to just gently press it down. For any spots where my finger is too fat to fit, I just use the round end of my paintbrush and just roll that back and forward, getting the poster to fit nice and snug to the model. This next step is add some weathering to the poster. I've chosen myself a few different browns, mix some water into the paints, and with my paintbrush, just apply these onto the poster. Once I was happy with the amount of dirt I've applied to the poster, to add some actual physical damage to the posters, using a Q-tip, I just gently pull away at the poster, tearing little chunks away. Now it's time to dry up the poster. You can do this naturally by just leaving it sit there, but to speed things up, I just use a hairdryer on low setting. Once it was fully dried, I just use my hobby knife now just to go around the poster and just put some scratches and little nicks into it. The second last step is to apply a thick coat of the PVA glue to the poster. This will seal it into position and also help with any damage it might take in the future. For the final step, which is totally optional, I just give it a quick coat of matte varnish. And with that done, the posters are applied and the underhive feels a lot more lived in. Thanks for watching Navy Paints. If you like the video, please click the sub button or leave me a like. If there's anything you'd like to see in a future video, please leave a comment in the comment section below and I'll see you in the next one. Catch ya.